Have you ever imagined a world where robots look, sound and move like humans? Where machines can learn from their experiences and adapt to changing environments? Where robots can become our teachers, doctors and even our friends? This is the world that Figure AI is working to create. This isn't science fiction, it's becoming a reality thanks to advances in robotics, AI and other technologies. So let's see what more Figure AI's robots can do. The coming of the robot. In 2022, the robotics startup Figure embarked on a journey to create something remarkable. For the past year and some months, they've been hard at work crafting the bipedal humanoid robot named Figure 01. Edcock claims that he kickstarted the company with $10 million of his cash back then. Before this venture, he had success with Vettery, a hiring platform, and Archer Aviation, an electric aircraft company that went public recently. Though he's no longer involved with Archer, he is now all in with Figure where he plans to pump over $100 million. With his cash stash, Edcock lured in top-notch talent from places like Boston Dynamics and Tesla. Figure's team is a blend of robotics and AI wizards, creating a hybrid on self-driving cars and robotic arms. Design and Features Designed in the likeness of humans, Figure 01 strides confidently on two legs. Its purpose? Very simple and clear to undertake tasks typically performed by humans, especially in sectors facing a significant shortage of labor. In the United States alone, millions of positions remain unfilled. Figure's humanoid aims to step in where human hands are scarce, tackling jobs either unpopular or requiring specialized skills. Eventually, it aims to extend its capabilities to include caring for the elderly and even preparing meals. Central to Figure's innovation lies its integration of artificial intelligence. This enables the robots to not only perform tasks but also learn and enhance their skills over time. As they evolve, they transition from basic labor tasks to more complex functions. Initially, these robots will be deployed in warehouses where they will handle heavy lifting and other strenuous activities, alleviating the burden on human workers. For Figure AI, generating revenue quickly is a top priority. This means focusing on tasks that are technically feasible in the near term. While many businesses currently use single-purpose robots in warehouse settings, Figure is developing a more versatile solution. Rather than relying on multiple specialized robots, their goal is to create a humanoid that can perform a wide range of tasks, similar to a human worker. By doing so, they aim to revolutionize the way we think about robotics and automation. This approach contrasts with other companies' endeavors in humanoid robotics. While Honda's SMO and NASA's Robonauts target various user needs from mobility assistance to space missions, Figure prioritizes practical utility over versatility for the sake of demonstration. Edcock sees the future of humanoid robotics as one that goes beyond flashy stunts and focuses on practical applications. He believes that this technology can be used to make a real difference in the world and is working to demonstrate its potential in the real world. His goal is to show that humanoid robots can be useful and reliable tools, rather than simply novelties. Figure has crafted five prototypes of its humanoid robots, designed to be super flexible and versatile, capable of tasks like lifting boxes from the ground to high shelves. But for now, they are mainly learning to walk. Edcock aims to refine these prototypes extensively in the next few months, aiming for warehouse-ready robots and a real-world pilot with 50 robots in 2024. He acknowledges the long road ahead, saying it will take decades to fully realize the vision. The Figure 01 robot sports a slick, futuristic look with a face mask reminiscent of a G.I. Joe character. Unlike Boston Dynamics Atlas, which focuses on agility, Figure prioritizes aesthetics alongside functionality. Comparisons can be drawn between Figure's robot and Tesla's Optimus. While both aim for a smooth design, Optimus, introduced in 2021, looks more like a scientific creation rather than a character from a sci-fi movie. Edcock explains that the robots boast advanced electric motors, offering smoother movement compared to hydraulic systems like Atlas. Though the hydraulic systems are powerful, they have a few drawbacks. First, they require a lot of energy to operate, which can be a problem when the robot is working in the field. Second, hydraulic systems are less precise than electric motors, which can limit the robot's ability to perform delicate tasks. Third, hydraulic systems are prone to leaks, which can be a problem in certain environments. Figure A's advancement allows the prototypes to mimic a more natural walking pattern while also consolidating mechanical components into a smaller frame. Edcock says the aim is to make it so perfect 
that they can fool 90% of observers in a walking Turing test. The core idea revolves around the robot's capacity for continuous enhancement, learning new abilities over time and progressing toward more intricate tasks. According to Adcock, this versatility makes what could be a costly device much more economically viable to produce and purchase. This, he believes, could pave the way for Figure's robots to operate in diverse settings such as manufacturing, retail, home assistance and even outer space. He adds that he is truly confident that humanoid robots will one day colonize our planet. Collaboration for Advancements Now, as Adcock has said, he intends to spend the next few months refining the robot, and one method he has decided to try is through collaboration. OpenAI and Figure A have struck a groundbreaking deal worth $675 million, backed by influential tech giants like Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Microsoft and Nvidia and funding divisions of Intel and OpenAI itself. Their goal is to integrate OpenAI's advanced AI systems into Figure A's robots, revolutionizing workplaces and homes worldwide. Remember, Figure A is still a young company of less than two years old and it realizes it lacks a viable commercial product. To overcome this, it's banking on persuading tech industry heavyweights to support its ambitious goal of mass-producing human-like robots to fill the gaps in the workforce. CEO Brad Adcock's vision still stands – to create a future where humanoids perform tasks that people aren't keen on, potentially selling millions or even billions of these robots. This vision aligns with OpenAI's interest in leveraging robotics alongside their expertise in AI language models like ChatGPT. For OpenAI, known for its groundbreaking AI language models, this partnership marks a pivot back to robotics research. Peter Wellinder, OpenAI's Vice President of Product and Partnerships, sees it as an opportunity to explore new ways robots can enhance everyday life. While the financial details remain undisclosed, the collaboration entails OpenAI developing specialized AI models for Figure A's humanoid robots. Leveraging their existing technologies like GPT language models, the DALI image generator and the new Sora video generator, OpenAI aims to equip Figure A's robots with advanced language processing and reasoning capabilities. This collaboration promises to expand Figure A's commercial goals, as evidenced by the recent agreement with BMW to deploy robots in a South Carolina car plant. With OpenAI's expertise, the future role of these robots is poised to transform industries and redefine human-robot interaction. Opinions among experts vary regarding the practicality of humanoid robots. While many robots used in industrial settings may feature some animal-like traits, such as arms or grippers, creating truly humanoid robots has been a challenge. This is because perfecting the ability to walk on two legs and handle small objects has taken considerable time and effort for robotics engineers. Whitney Rockley, a venture capitalist, sees the appeal of humanoid robots. They can feel relatable and evoke emotions in people. However, she also recognizes the challenges associated with this technology. Humanoid robots are technically complex and can be difficult to deploy practically. Rockley prefers to invest in robots that do not resemble humans. She believes that these robots can be deployed more easily and have a greater chance of success in the commercial market. While humanoid robots may seem futuristic and appealing, non-humanoid robots may be more likely to achieve widespread adoption and have a greater impact on society. In a podcast conversation with Bill Gates, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, hinted at a renewed interest in robotics. Altman acknowledged previous challenges faced by OpenAI in the field, including issues with simulators and physical components. He explained that prioritizing intelligence and cognition before addressing physicality was essential for progress in robotics research. This shift in focus reflects a strategic approach to overcoming previous setbacks and advancing the field effectively. This collaboration between Figure AI and OpenAI will surely be a game-changer in the field of robotics. By combining the latest AI technology with innovative robotics, the two companies are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This could have significant implications for industries like manufacturing, logistics and healthcare. It could also raise important questions about the future of work and the role of AI in our lives. I'm particularly excited to see what the future holds for this groundbreaking collaboration. What about you? Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more groundbreaking videos.